navigating the maze, understanding ISF requirements for U.S. rental goods returns. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on understanding the ISF requirements for returning rental goods to the United States. Whether you've rented equipment for a project abroad or you're managing returns for your business, this video is your navigator through the complex world of U.S. Customs compliance. Stay tuned as we dissect these regulations, providing you with clear, actionable advice to ensure a smooth and compliant return process. When returning rental goods to the U.S., the Importer Security Filing, or ISF, is a critical component that cannot be overlooked. This regulation requires importers to submit detailed information to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, before their shipment reaches the United States. Timeliness is crucial. The ISF must be filed at least 24 hours before your goods are loaded onto the vessel bound for the U.S. Details matter. From the manufacturer to the container stuffing location, you'll need to provide 10 data elements for shipments requiring a full ISF, or 5 for less than container load, LCL, shipments. Responsibility falls on the importer. As the importer of record, it's your duty to ensure compliance. Consider partnering with a reputable customs broker to facilitate the process. Failing to comply with ISF requirements can lead to hefty fines, delayed shipments, and increased inspections, costing you both time and money. But worry not. With the right preparation and understanding, you can navigate these waters smoothly, keeping your operations running without a hitch. Remember, the key to success in returning rental goods to the U.S. lies in preparation, attention to detail, and possibly, a strong partnership with a customs broker. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Safe travels and smooth returns.